my friends and I wanted to give you a quick look at what's new in Preview 4 of Adobe Character Animator. Okay, so in the past, the only way to get me to stop moving and talking was to name my Photoshop or Illustrator layers a certain way. So, you name a layer left eyebrow, my left eyebrow moves when your left eyebrow moves. Eh, don't get me wrong, that still works great. But now there's this newfangled tagging system. You just select any layer, tag it using the pictures on the right, and boom, works like a charm. You can even switch between visual and text-based tags at any time. It's never been quicker or easier to rig a Photoshop or Illustrator file for animation. Well, sharing your creations is easier too. You can now export to Adobe Media Encoder, giving you a quick and painless way to share your creations in a wide variety of output formats. And Siphon support on Mac OS X gives you a way to do live cartoon performances. Your character animator scenes can show up in anything with Siphon support, allowing you to perform and share cartoons in real time, which opens up a number of exciting new creative possibilities. Motion Trigger is a new behavior that lets you change your character's appearance as they move around the scene. So this hummingbird has three states, moving left, at rest, and moving right. As you drag her around with a mouse or fingers on a touch-enabled device, she automatically switches between the different views. Coupled with other behaviors, like cycle layers for the wing animation and the automatic head turner, you can really extend the possibilities of what a character can do. Want parts of a puppet to connect together? Use the new staple tool to keep them firmly attached. And now you have greater flexibility over how flexible those connections are thanks to attach styles. Well, makes a strict connection, like you fused one piece into the next with a blowtorch. Hinge lets you swing and pivot around the connection point like a helicopter blade. And free lets you completely detach limbs and do whatever the heck you want with them. Hey, you want more control over your animation? You got it. Every behavior now has an eyeball toggle, so if you want to isolate and focus on your lip sync or eye movement or whatever, you can now do it. There's also a one or two frame quick record option, so you can record a couple of frames, make a slight adjustment, record another couple of frames, and so on. There are over two dozen more interface improvements to performing, recording, editing, and sharing. And those are just a few of the highlights. There are plenty of free example characters to download and online tutorials to help you get started. So there's never been a better time to check us out. See you soon!